Hello boys, today we got NTW3 4 vs 4 on the field. This was submitted in by Jaeger. Jaeger, who will be playing as the Saxons today. The Saxons. Gotta work on your posh upper class accent when playing this game. With no real military experience, only promoted by the position of Sandry during this time to reply that French was so much more effective than the command to which they promoted based on merit. Anyway, yes, we have Jaeger again playing as the Saxons. I saw a few other uh, comrades I am uh, very familiar with on that player screen. I, I don't know. I'm, I know that uh, ENG Dino is almost certainly this Britain player. Or was it whoever brought no, not this one. This one, I'm almost certain that ENG Dino was this Britain player because he always brings Arthur Wellesley right here. There you go. I guess Peninsula Britain. We got nine point Russia there. The uh, 18 to 6, 18 to 7, not the guards. And we got another 10 point Britain here. So that leaves us with a grand total of 80. What is wrong with me? 37 points. Simple math. We got a s France, Spania, France, Spania, France, Spania, and Westphalia. Sad not playing as the United States. Anyway, yes, so it looks like West Valley is going to be played on this kind of left flank here. We got, uh, looks to be most of the French players. Perhaps going to make a, a jut forward, perhaps. So, uh, this is just Portugal to be. It's a very, very classic map. Everyone's played this map a bunch. It's very straightforward. I mean, you got this little two point here. You got this little two point. But you kind of, uh, overall, the coalition has a very clear LOC advantage. So, uh, generally, you know, automatically you have your own force. So, uh, usually what people do is they'll like just leave a little detachment here as they're already doing uh, and they usually just kind of retreat to a very defense position with this um, this hill or they'll retreat behind this river or uh, over here but it uh, looks like uh, Jaeger is bringing a bit of a cav core only bringing three infantry um, so yeah it looks like obviously uh, they're probably this guy's probably going to go here holding this hill this is definitely more much, much more desirable position because you can set guns there and all that and it's just higher ground and Mostly the guns, but still looks like wow, making a little bit of a mad dash there. I don't know what they were doing. It might have been mishook. And they instantly disappeared. Very bizarre. What is this unit? This looks like some uh, Kazaki. It's just Cossacks just keeping the woods. Just maybe the surprise attack. I'm not sure. This is a guy who brought John Moore. And it kind of uh, probably kind of like hold this river, river line. It looks like Russia's been kind of holding this position here. And looks like got another position to hold. Uh, from a uh, peninsula of Britain and probably Jaeger's position stuff on this flank, so you can hopefully just kind of win calf fights over here. But they're kind of be, going to be split off uh, from the rest of the calves, so they can just kind of go over here and use this as a bit of a barrier and just kind of go make a steamroll, and they can hopefully counterattack uh, from that position and just wipe them out. This is what I presume they were going to do. As for the French players' perspective, and there's get rid of that notification there. Uh, Westphalia's you know, they're not going to have much hitting power. Personally, I would probably, um, would I mean, so, you, again, I, it would kind of depend on, obviously, we get to see what all the coalition has to offer, because this is from the coalition's perspective. However, um, from further scouting, uh, I feel like if the, the French players, um, kind of see where the Russians are moving, so if, if the Russians were moving kind of over here, for instance, it would probably be more wise to kind of have Westphalia kind of pin these guys down, and I would kind of just kind of have all three of Spaniards just kind of hopefully start to kind of roll over these guys uh, and hopefully slowly make progress here. Or probably just, I mean, again, all they need to do is take this point, and then uh, that point they have back there. And basically just either, well, this one or this one. So either either one of these would, would work pretty well. Now I can have all, all three of Spaniard armies kind of pressuring that way um if if the russians have were moving down here if, if I, I would personally have again with to kind of pin these guys down um or maybe just a display and a france and have two francis kind of pin these guys or three francis just kind of attack this position just just kind of because again i'm more of a fan of attacking myself i'm not, I'm not a huge fan of defending i all i if i am defending i usually defend defend aggressively if that is some terminology that actually makes sense at all. Anyway, so it looks like we guys got the French marching up this road here. Again, uh, we're going to see what the other uh, plans are for. We already have the Germans, the Spallians. 
Mark Ingram Jr. coming under fire from some uh, set like the Saxon. Yeah, Saxon, six, eight, eight, eight pounds. Eight pounds. Eight pounds might be some more mark. Eight pounds and nine pounds. I love them. They're, they're not they're not like super heavy like 12 pounds something that would take a million years to move but they're they have about the range of them so I like eight and, 12, eight and nine pounds all right already got the Saxons on the right then that they would be more than capable of taking out the Svali and the cavalry Jen and I want to play Saxony I've, I've seen people bring like like I, I I do understand the point I, I always hated Saxony because um I don't hate them uh, it's just they're not like my, my thing. I would rather bring, um, or, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I would rather bring, um, 8 Point Britain. Usually is my 8 Point the coalition choice. Because to me, it's like if you're bringing like 12 to uh, 10 to 12 infantry to Saxony, it's like, what's the point? You know, when you're bringing that much infantry, I just, I feel like why not. I mean, if you want like a more in between faction, just play the Helder Expedition. Um,. Uh, you know, and Mamluks and um, Saxony, it's really just kind of personal preference when it comes to that point. But already we got uh, some Chevalier. I'll just sh sh shut myself up here. I don't think the Westphalians should be taking this fight. They have, what, two Carassiers. Saxony has two Carassiers. I mean, just generally their cap's better. They probably have a cavalry combat gen. No, he, no, he just gives his general right here. On top of that, and already Westphalians trying to waver. But this is just kind of a, you know, to kind of pin down the Svalians in place, I assume. But Saxon Curas here is, should, I mean, it's just probably going to pin it down with the Chevaliers and then start moving his Gracias around the flank, and then that should be more than enough. Those guys should wait break pretty quickly. General getting a little, little risky there. I don't think she shouldn't die, though. Got more moving, and some British cavalry to kind of help pin down more men. Oh my god, yeah, this one's not looking too good for Westphalian cavalry. Guy should not have taken that fight. Should have probably ran himself into the woods there, getting his cabin out in the open. Like that. Second, you should see Saxon cap. You should get your, you should get your ass out of there. But it looks like a little too late. Perhaps he just wasn't paying attention. Who knows? Already a pretty big defeat there for the the um, French and Germans. So there you go. Looks like already, already looks like we have one French force kind of paralleling the uh, United Kingdom Peninsular faction. Grenadiers in here, be a pain in the ass to get rid of. It's gonna cost me a few units, but nonetheless. And of course, he's kind of maneuvering himself all around the building, which is gonna cause even more casualties. I assume these are two different armies, unless one of them one of them just went like all freaking infantry, which is definitely a possibility. Yeah, so so far so good for the uh. The Coalition just won that nice uh, cavalry retreat there against Westphalians. That's gonna make any progress they want to make on the left uh, even less plausible. I mean, who knows? Again, they could be uh, focusing just purely the right flank down and go for this one point back here, which is uh, one way to bamboozle the enemy. Which, uh, if if anything, according to the scouting right now, if uh, they are performing any, uh, would, be, uh, would would be seeing any of these um, coalition troops. I would probably be sending like two armies to deal with this guy. And then probably just having the rest of these guys kind of pin them, uh, pin them down. Kind of start from like a ring around the Prussian uh, Pavlovsky. Uh, these are Pavlovsky though, and that's going to be um, that's one of if not one of if not the most cost-effective grenadier in the game. Maybe aside from Grognards, but um, you know I, I really don't know too much about uh, history of grenadiers. So um, no, like when it, when it comes down to like names and just kind of overall like the historical background of different uh formations or units in the army like i know the brits basically every single unit they have is like a named regiment that's even usually they're still in use today i don't really actually know what these guys did all i know is that they're just really good in this game so yeah it'd be cool if anyone could tell me that what they actually did I think I'm, I'm sure i could just read the freaking unit card it would be that simple it's always cool seeing, like, various British units. Like, uh, I know there's a game called the Skins, and it's, like, that's served in freaking everywhere. Like, um, North America, Egypt, Europe, India, everywhere. No, so that, that's pretty cool, seeing units like that. But the British kind of setting. It's even a bit of a risky maneuver here, kind of leaving itself vulnerable to counterattack. But it looks like the French are kind of amassing cav. And the Brits do not want to be taking a cav fight. They're going to be uh, keeping their cav close to the lines. So you do not want to be keeping yourself dragged out, which is exactly what you're doing. 
you never want to fight a cow fight one on one unless you're like very confident or you missed a lot in the cow fight. You could, you're just unless you're very very confident in winning that cow fight, you, you either invested a lot or you're kind of like calves because they're attacking, such as the the Mamluks or um, Saxony. Uh, Pavlovsky's trying to wait for a little bit there, setting a, a significant fire. But still laying them, which I'm assuming is what uh, he intended to do. The only thing about I, th I think actually nine point Russia might be uh, Dino because I know he actually likes bringing Pavlovsky and a lot of a lot of uh, conscripts like the um, right over there. I'm kind of, kind of wondering why um, Jaeger here is not performing further scouting. I feel like uh, they should be kind of throwing some cab more forward, but. Looks like a lot of the forces are kind of revealing themselves. I'm not sure if any uh, artillery. Oh my God! Oh man, that's going to be quite, uh, quite, um, it's quite the battery there in the coalition. Oh, I see. Do I see Alice going off? Where is this from? Nice. Okay. These guys should be going down, but it's doing what they kind of want to do, which is laying them. Look, he's kind of shifting himself over so we can kind of get across this river, so he's not really taking the advantage and rather than pinning them against the river, he's just kind of letting them fall back. He might be scared, he might be getting 2v1, which is totally, totally reason. We got some, uh, are these guys, are these guys Cossacks, or are these just normal Cossacks, I see, okay. Oh, Pavlovsky are super elite. Oh, God. I hate to be in this, I mean, it's like, what do you do? Completely surrounded. There's like a hundred percent chance of death. Anyway, get the, the French guy moving up. The Royal Le Song. That's a very, very late line for though. Dragoons, dragoons. Like uh, I think they're Guard Paw. Doesn't seem like it. Love French dragoons. Gotta love them. Gotta love French dragoons. Jojon. Very uh, nice general. A lot of their forces. Um. Sorry right about that. All right. Well, again, a lot of their forces. Uh. Coming into view here. I see brutal. Uh, whenever he sets up these guns. My bad. Some light casualties, but they kind of uh, remain in this marching combat. It seems like they're doing exactly what I uh, wanted to do. They're just kind of sitting there. Uh, and because the coalition has lacked any form of reconnaissance, they haven't really made any scouting. It seems like. All of them are literally just moving over to the right side, which is almost exactly what I think. Literally, almost exactly what I mentioned there. You just have some men to pin them down, and there's kind of, again, just so far according to the content, they're just kind of sitting there, not really doing anything. They're just gonna let um, UK ten either constantly retreat, they're constantly give ground, and if they can occupy this half of the battlefield, uh, they'll be more than capable of just sending a few units. And what that's too is that's just two Sicilies Legion. I mean, I'm sure they're not aware of that, but they're more than capable of just sending a quick unit over. And once they spot that that's only two Sicilies Legion, I mean, it's just, I mean, you could send, like, a Gren really quick over there, or really just, like, even just, like, a unit of line really could probably take that, maybe just two units. Uh, and then, there we go, and this building is on fire right now. Literally. It's been burned to the ground. It seems like Jaeger with his, uh, the Saxon cavalry... It's going to start um, maneuvering over. Saxon is a really good unit. It's a good cavalry. Uh, I mean, it's not even just 8-point Saxon. You're getting a 9-point, uh, a lot of the best 9-point uh, Rhineman cav is also Saxon. So I don't want to take Saxon for cavalry. I just thought it was for Polos, but who knows. Nice, Mott Corp. Original uh, SARS. 
making a charge at some British sappers, royal military artificers. Oh, this will be close. Oh, but just in time to set him up, and that's going to be a unit of Asaurus loss. Oh, my God. Cap, unit dead instantly. Very, very uh, comedic there. Uh, but it's just Corp original Hussari, so it's not the biggest loss. I'm sure he, I, I, you know, understand what he's trying to do, but he's just literally like two seconds off. It's a big, uh, big shame. But it's not a big loss. It's Corp original Hussari, so again, the quality is using that cav. Most of their cav there was um, at least at least half. Um, yeah, that was a bit of a loss there. You know, this battle's really far from it's just a huge like flanking maneuver. Again, with the coalition very reluctant to kind of make any advancements, they've se they're setting up artillery on, and guns, but it just doesn't seem like they're doing much else. It seems like they're just kind of letting their ally kind of left to die here on the the left. I mean, again, if, if I was on this team, I would start sh I, I would start shifting. Like Russia would probably go over here to kind of help protect this one point. This is good melee. They should be able to kind of hold on to that. And then, uh, again, Saxon would kind of shift over, and then uh, Britain here would kind of take the place of these guys, and then kind of start putting pressure on these guys. Well, he would probably be holding the tree line. Britain very much thrives best in the woods and such. And then Russia would kind of be starting working on outflanking maneuvers over here, as well alongside Saxony. But again, the kind of lack of reconnaissance here from the coalition is uh, kind of very, very much penalizing these guys. Is that from... Is that from the coalition here? Yes, it is. Six pounds? Yes, six pounds. British are very active. They, they usually, um, they don't really have any, like, mass, like, batteries of guns, but they still do have, um, Max Navy. It's very fine. Oh, look at that freaking, you can see the, the lag there coming to effect. That one rank line, look at that. Noodles. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we got the, the French here. No, I think I, I wouldn't be too aggressive. I seeing that Saxon cab come, I would probably be pulling back right about now. I drew a doll in here, a little isolated. I would start kind of backing off. I would see that Saxon cab, and I would immediately not want to fight that. If anything, I think if uh, it's for the imperialists, I think you got to be taking a little more time here. Um... Don't be too too aggressive. I would kind of let Mike at least, um, and, and because they're just sitting there, I would probably just leave like maybe a France here, and we can get like Westphalia and two spans just shifting over and just let, let your infantry set up because they're clearly not maneuvering, and it's just this cav four. And if you can just send your infantry up to counter the cav, you just slowly start to envelop. And I feel like once these guys are kind of cut off, we're at least forced back behind here, and we can kind of occupy this, and then it'd be very very easy to kind of reinforce your other points. Again, the coalition's not really moving. They're just kind of sitting here in one spot. And that's kind of um, one thing I think a lot of players uh, can struggle. It's I, Again, I'm not a huge fan of defending. I never like defending because of these reasons. I don't like sitting in one spot and doing nothing. I always kind of want to at least parallel the enemy at all times. But still, a little bit of a line fight here going on. Um, emerging down here against the rule of Slong. Get the foot guards. It's very late retreat. Even more of than the Royal Assault. Saucy Greens. Some Voltigeurs. Very interesting. We got more of the Saxon Cavalry showing up here. Very like the French again. French getting out of there. They do not want to be fighting the Saxon Cavalry. It's basically a Cav Corps, so... I don't really understand, again, I don't understand taking the point of, I don't understand taking Saxony if you're not bringing it mostly Cav Corps, at least, you know. Who knows? Now, our fire is going to be pretty devastating. Because of those stakes, it's going to be uh, difficult to remove those things. Actually, they got two guns here. Uh, got nine and a six. Some diversity there. But again, the first are going to be forced back. They do not want to get out flank. Oh my god, over here. So I'm not sure if they're just amassing all their cavalry over here. But again, they're just not going to win. It's just the, the Saxon cav and you got the Russian cav. Granted, they cannot see the Russian cav. But with the Saxons here, and I mean, that, that might be about equal if they kind of amass all their cavalry over here. 
Mother of God. Irish Stars, the Dragoon Dragoon should win that. Dragoon Guards, they sh Dragoon Guards should win that. They're getting out double flanked here, and we got that. What these are Dragoons? Yeah, Dragoons are going up against Kings of Death. It, these are very, very elite Stars, but they're just not going to win against two Dragoon. Maybe they could have won against the normal Dragoon, but. Oh my god, dude. This is not looking too good, but with the Saxon Cavalry rubbing, got Crossiers. More arriving. It might be time to get out to get the hell out of Dodge. Yes, I think it's about time to get, get out of there. Uh, so I guess a quick cab game. We just killed some of the British cab with um, practically no losses for the uh, coalition. So as long as they can kind of get out of there uh, without being uh, ca caught up by the Saxons, which they are refusing to pursue, and especially with these infantry coming over, I was actually uh, very in favor of the. The um, Imperial Star. And again, Coalition just sitting there. I mean, they're literally just letting their ally get 2v1, if not 3v1 over here. I, I, I am baffled as to why they are still deciding to, and just now, the Russians deciding to move and deciding to help out their ally. Should have been doing that, like, what, what a solid what was it, 10 minutes ago? 8 minutes ago? Looks like we have another attempt to take out the guns. They might waver, I think. I mean, they're already wavering. That's not what I'm talking about. Can they break them? Maybe just barely. I mean, they've at least delimbered them, but I don't think, yeah, they're not going to break. They've at least delimbered them, so they, they can just kind of keep moving over here. I mean, it's going to probably make these, it's going to make those things useless for the most part. But again, they're just going to constantly get, um, oh my god, yeah. Is that firing canister into the world of gears? That's an interesting... <laughs> It's just a weird, weird concept, you know? I don't know. Yeah, but those Russian guns setting up over here, that's just going to rip holes to the lines. It's so, so devastating. These things are well protected, too. Maybe Koss is here with the infantry. I think Saxon got to kind of keep weaving around with the support of some British cavalry. And as long as they kind of stay out of sight of the infantry, they should be able to win most cap. But, man, that just looks like, what, two, two France and Spaniards? And a lot of the British cavalry is weakened, so I'm, I'm, it's, that's going to be, that's going to be deadly close. But with the Russians coming over here, too, they could win this. They could win that. I, I mean, if they could wipe out this, this cavalry over here, I mean, that's going to, again, the rear, do it over here. And, man, it might, might even just be straight up over for them at that point. This is very interesting so far. I got some more rifles there. The Brits. And the Russians sitting over some infantry. Again, Brits still sitting out. I'll be taking the place of Russia, and if, if anything, just following him at this point in time, and just performing some reconnaissance, just making sure, s seeing where Westphalia is going, and he actually sees if Westphalia is shoving with guard shoving through his answers. Getting their calves split in half here, but it should be fine. They should be able to, again, they should be able to win this, especially with the Russian Dragoons and the British Cav and the Saxon Cavalry Corps. They should be more than capable. Oh, he's eight pounds. Oh, who's here? So how it's here? Oh man, I love how he's. I shouldn't. I, I usually I don't like targeting infantry. Um, I, I like what I like doing with howitzers. You could you can basically put them anywhere and they can shoot anywhere. Um, uh, what I like doing is it, it doesn't matter if your calves behind your lines or wherever they are behind terrain. They can still shoot calves. So I, I just like I really just bring howitzers and I target heavy calves. That's like what nine times out of ten, what I like doing with howitzers. It's just so much Russian artillery fire. Jesus. Anyway. Ridiculous. These are going to be forced back. They just can't win that. Just too many. What is that? Two units? I believe two units of uh, Saxon Crossiers. Again, I feel like they should be maneuvering here, but they're probably going to let this guy get overwhelmed. I mean, think about it. I mean, they already own, like, one, two, three. I mean, all this is all they need. I mean, they just need to send, like, I mean, they're already doing it. You know? Just get, take out this unit in here. I mean, boom. They're, I mean, Imperialists are already set. You know, unless suddenly, Brit unless Britain's kind of just staying around this general vicinity and just waiting for, you know, these guys to cross, and he could just completely cut them off. Who knows? Perhaps they're letting this happen so that Russia can, you know, they can kind of stay here to, like, kind of tie them down, and then they can, then they can just kind of 
Britain over here can swoop down and just cut them off from this river line, and they're just kind of trapped here, and they're going to clearly hold LOC. Perhaps that's what their plan is. But I mean, already almost half this game is done. We got a line wide here. It's starting to evolve. We got a lot of strategic talking, not enough cinematic shots. I love British Light Infantry. That's probably the thing I love most about Britain. Light Infantry. But these guns should be a fire canister in them. That's not... I mean, a canister at this range, I don't think it's worth it, but... Let's see what they shoot. That was a very direct hit. Targeting the guns. Our sedace. I would just go ahead and charge those skirmishers. I just, just, just charge him, man. I'm not real point in shooting him. Oh my god, what, is, what has happened to John Moore? Jesus. What's happened to him? He just got hit by a bunch of guns or something. Not paying attention to him. He's out in the open, so I, what I like doing is just clicking on him and just like holding shift and right clicking just all over the place. So he's like always weaving and kiting. Or just put him behind something so he doesn't get sniped. But again, this Britain player is just, I mean, you go with the Russians coming, but the Brits are, again, kind of very, very reluctant to move. But with the Russians to be able to stabilize this front, but they're probably not going to be able to push them back. They're, again, they're just going to be stabilizing. Unless they can get, like, a really good made layoff, get, get in the blob position, which is, again, what most, most Russian factions are good at. Uh, get, get some sort of amazing charge off, because, again, most of the cavalry here is tight. Oh, my God. And that's exactly what I like doing with howitzers, it's just targeting cab. And they're going to be, oh my god, look at that. Yeah, they're already getting a lot of kills upon the crosshairs. Okay, they're getting into the rear, which is kind of what they want to be doing, is just being annoying and distract as many forces as possible. And if Russian just kind of get himself and get him into melee, and just, he'll just wipe him from the floor. He'll wipe these Frenchmen from the floor, and they can just stabilize the front. They'll hold LC, make sure that they're holding this point. Britain, in my opinion, should be kind of paralleling themselves here. And then Britain, they can make a... Like, again, Britain kind of swoop down, get alongside the river, and then just wipe out the Westphalian force, which, again, a lot of the Westphalian forces themselves are crossing over here. They can get down here, and that's going to completely cut them off, and just, you can just get them in almost, almost, almost in a siege-like manner, and that was just, almost worked out perfectly. Perhaps this was their plan all along. They're actually looking a little vulnerable here, because they have the infantry support. Getting a little isolated here, actually, and especially with these howitzers just pounding them. Just pounding them. I mean, they don't even need to fight them. Their artillery is going to rip them to shreds. Getting some pressure. So even getting a little isolated here. I think they got to slow down, kind of retreat, kind of allow themselves to group up, and then kind of start picking away at the, the cavalry and all their essential assets. Britain's putting themselves in the It's going to be a hard, hard rock to dislodge. Well, especially with the Russians coming. Again, they're just stabilizing the front. Russians should be putting a lot of pressure on the Frenchmen right now. It's also forcing these men, uh, not really forcing them back, but they can't really assault as long as Nexus Dreams is there. Can't really assault the building, that is. Oh my god. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, there you go. The Saxon general just leading the charge. Oh man, they're gonna, they're, that's not going to go too well. Look at that bombardment, it's just constant, it's gonna be constant. This is just Irish, this is just the SARS. It was still winning, still winning this division, this was the Saxon support. There we go, look at that. Saxon crosshairs, uh, against like this many Dragoons, I don't think they're gonna win that. But if, if these guys aren't flanking around, then they're more than capable of winning it. My god, those, is, oh my god. That's brutal, man. Pike Square for the, um... Legion to Hanover, which is getting charged. Oh, accidentally. I guess he did not see that. He's going to try and pull away from that. And he chased away by more French Dragoons. Ooh, it's really kind of hard to say. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those howitzers, man. God, so brutal. Like, every shot is practically killing, like, five, five guys. It's crazy. I mean, like, it's kind of hard to say who's winning. I mean, ah. Uh, Oh my god, look at these, it's just, just strong, like, they're running through these gaps here. Again, the square might take a few shots there, but what are they, what are they going for exactly? Perhaps the, the, the Westphalian guns? Oh my god, all the French cavalry is breaking. 
Jesus. So maybe the yeah, sacrifice is worth it. Also getting more French guns here. Oh, they can just get right here. Oh, but they're going to be matched by uh, French more French SARs. They're breaking themselves from the sheer amount of fire from these French squares. Mother of God. Yeah, and sadly not going to be able to accomplish anything with the SARs. They've wiped out practically all of the Imperial, all of the French cavalry, all of the German cavalry. Most German cavalry is wiped out here. All of the French cavalry is wiped out here. And it's just not looking too good for the, surprisingly, not looking too good at all. Jeez. And I guess Britain kind of entrenched himself to the point where now the coalition, I'm sorry, not the coalition. The French are very, very, very terrified. Tax divisions kind of went to bombard them to death, but because of the cow, all the cavalry the engagement, their 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 patience has kind of um, hurt them <laughs> in this situation. Oh man, almost getting those guns there, but just barely matched by the French goons. They still have the majority of their cab left. God. French still have cavalry, but they uh, lost a vast majority. Perhaps they could rally. Oh, man. But that artillery fire is just devastating. I actually wonder how many uh, have been lost. Whew, that's a cannonball. Oh, my God. General getting a little uh, cut out there. Probably going to start running. Oh, my God, dude. That almost got. I think that literally killed the guy next to the general. Jeez. Run him out of there. He's going to get sniped. Put him, like, over here or something. Now, the Saxons is just all up in the rear. British cab and Russian cab all up in the rear. Britain, again, kind of reluctant to move. Just now deciding to move. But again, so far, it's been looking, like, pretty good for the coalition. The only time I was kind of worried was before their cab arrived and started causing ruckus. Fortunately, I guess the French were, were, not, were not aggressive enough in their manner. But then again, I don't, I don't know if I could really say that because Britain really kind of entrenched themselves there. Oh boy. Everyone loves a nice big artillery battery in this game. Especially when you are not on the receiving end of it. Got an Australian battery there, the French battery. I like facing both directions. Full 60 degree angle fire. Russian guns. I actually wonder how many kills those things got. They have been pounding. French. Eight pounds. That's going to be very devastating upon the British lines, though. They have weakened these artillery crews down to the point where they only have, what, four guys left in them. That's crazy. Crazy, man. Try to use stupid ass drill in those pigs. Now they're making counterattacks. But again, it, it, if the French could just kind of occupy all the they can just send a few more units over here to kind of help occupy this building. Uh, it's only and it's only two facilities. Re oh wait, never mind. They put a they decided to put a Scots Guard in here. I mean, no, 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 not not Scots Guard. There's a very old regiment that no longer exists. Some of us Scottish foot guards, which are going to that's be quite the pain. Quite the pain to take out. The French kind of getting really out of position here, just kind of like locked themselves into the, the Russian lines. Not too good. Very closely guarded by some Ulani. Ulani. I don't even know how you say it. I'm just going to call him Ulani. Because it sounds most American. So. 
I'll come back to you guys with some more action aside from just constant artillery bombardment. It's been happening for like the last 20 years now or something like that. So go ahead and see you guys in a second. Holy mother of God, what just happened? Oh crap, no, no, I clicked, right click. We'll never know. Whose general just died? I think he got sniped by artillery. <laughs> I actually right clicked. God dang it. What was it, this guy? Like, I, I see. We have a melee charge happening. Two Sicilies Legion getting attacked by 50 Moon. Oh god, my game just crashed. <laughs> Perhaps it was a blessing in disguise for you guys to get to see his general died. Whew, looks like I wanted with the French generals. Oh, for the Russian guns, I assume. Yeah. Very sad. Chaudon? Died here? No, the Machelon here is running himself on a building there, yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, Jerome here as well. What's the other one? We got, a uh, there were three French... Who's the other French general? Is he over here? It's a bit of a line fight, yeah. So my game crashed right there. Got his two Sicilies Legion breaking the uh music is impressive for my game that's that cheap. Who's this other French general? Can't see him. There's one, two, three, there's a fourth. Fourth one that's not dead. Did he get charged that like broke? Off the field? Bizarre. Those Howies, man, they have been devastating the cavalry. Yeah, but most of their cavalry is gone. They don't have much of it left. Jesus, but the French here, I mean, this is looking... Yeah, man, like, I mean, all they have to do is surround this house and just shoot it. Uh, and it event eventually these, uh, foot, foot, foot guards will eventually go down. That simple. If they can just kind of cut these guys off and just kind of draw it into a stalemate. Like I said, we're getting charged here. And these two, this two says they lead amazing. Oh, finally it broke. You know, anything has like five more morale. It's impressive. Maybe even less. It's been crazy. Yeah, some French Assars here as well showing up. They're going to have. Uh, trading off with the Russians now. The Russians aren't really going to win that, though. The French could just get in position and just start flanking them, and there's just no way. Skirms here, and these guns have just been ripping holes in the line. They've just been sitting here the whole game. Nothing is... I'm not sure there's been attempts. doesn't seem like there's been any, any attempts, because there's no... They have forces around. Those things have been ripping holes. Their lines here. I mean, this thing is surrounded. It's going to be under siege. It's going to be constantly under fire. These things are eventually going to break. It's only about 20, 20 minutes and 30 seconds left in this match, which is, in my opinion, more than enough time. And now, finally, the Brits decide to dedicate more forces. Perhaps now is their time to counterattack. And perhaps they can just secure this point. It's already 50% damage. They should be easy to assault. Um... Yeah, I mean, if, if they just manage to take this, it won't really matter if they take that position. It doesn't seem to be as defended, especially with the Saxon cavalry coming up from here from the rear. So we got Antoine as a combat general. Here we go. 60 casualties. I wonder how many kills these things have gotten. Jesus, it's crazy. No pound artillery. Take a look at the, the death and destruction. Nothing too ridiculously bloody. Yeah, things can be under fire, it's gonna be under siege. That's good. Now it seems like the French, despite losing all that, that calf fight, just all that cavalry loss, it just seems like. They managed to outposition themselves in the coalition. It doesn't seem to be too heavily protected, unless there's like, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a good line, but it's not like complete infantry. Swiss infantry. These guns here. They're, they're limbered. 
the Spali Infantry here too. Just now kind of performing some scouting action against the enemy. This line, uh, French, they don't really need to press at all. Um, and the Russians aren't really going to win against the French in a line fight. I mean, I mean, it's already surrounded. They're going to win this uh, in, a, in a shootout. So, I mean, again, Russian lines just not good at shooting. So, I mean, it's just, you just have these two units, they should be able to pin them down. And you got to send more Frenchmen. And that, that could definitely overwhelm that. But still, it's only going to take about four units. And that's, that's all they need right there. They can send another, like, three. And they also have this cab unit here. I'm just going to spawn infantry. That's not looking too good. Looking a little desperate. A little desperate. Look at those fast notifications when the game crashed. And Saxon and Taras here. Just kind of mirroring. But man, this is actually pretty fortified. Uh, there's actually a decent amount. I think the biggest threat here is the fact that they have like two generals just stacked on top of one of them. They can kill both these guys. If they just get a good cap charge off, get them out of position, they might be able to do some damage. What are they doing? Those are stakes. How long is it going to be if they uh, charge and like ran this way and then like decide to come back and just take a million damage? And looks like they're not going to turn and shoot quick enough. Maybe they might get a flank flank, last flank, flank volley. Oh no, that's not too good for the Saxons, but they should be a little bit, no, wow, maybe not. Shoot. Hopefully he doesn't run into those stakes. That unit might break. Nope, it's not, it looks like he's just gonna inspire off. He's gonna break some line, it's just lying though, it's not that big of a deal. Oh my god, no way. There is no way he's gonna run into the stakes. He's gonna run into the stakes. Oh my, I think he noticed that, I'm not sure if he just got ridiculously lucky or if he just noticed that last second. Holy crap. Oh, look at that. The sacks are taking some... Oh, no. I'm not sure if, it, like, someone told him just, like, last second before he charged, or if he just decided to stop by pure coincidence. That would have been bad. Just losing an entire cabin like that for nothing. It looks like they also have the more skirms in this. You should be able to outskirmish them. And the... Oh, my God. Dude. And they're assaulting. They're gonna hopefully exhaust these guys if they're uh, cheering for the French here. I mean, overall, I mean, that's just it's just not enough. It's not enough to relieve it. it. Looks like they're diverting more troops over, but they're but so are they. And it's just the Russians are good in melee, but they're not good at shooting, especially nine point Russia. That is, and if they're not playing with the guards, oh my God! It looks like um, French Sars coming over for a counter. They might be able to can't take out this unit if you get to just swoop in, and swoop out. That could be quite deadly. Oh, I should probably want to stop shooting these guys. Oh, there you go. There you go. Might even be able to get this guy if he's lucky. Get the blitz there. They might just swing square. Yeah, just get in and get out. Nothing too crazy. Alright, cool. The Saxon Cavs kind of busy on this side of the field, not helping out this side. What just happened? Oh, no. That's not looking too good. They just took that building from the guards. Roy Lusson, it's a complete line. That's probably what took it there. Shovel of Gurs gonna be charging some Hussars. They should win that. But they're kind of got the infantry support here, so. Charliers. This young guard. Yeah. Young guard. I love the young guard, man. That's so cool. Or Pelham. Young guard might be my favorite route from Young guard. And honestly, over here, like, they have cab superiority, but this is very entrenched. I mean, honestly, like, if I were, oh my god, and, and that's, that's one thing about bringing so much artillery like this, you have to, you have to dedicate so much to protect it. It can be really deadly, and it looks like in this battle, it was actually quite deadly, but. Oh, what do we got? We got first German Legion of Sars. Oh, that's not going to, maybe just slip by. And they're also limbered, so. Yeah, look at that, he's going to beat them in the last second, but they're probably still going to break. Oh, that's a nice little, nice little charge there. I'm actually <laughs> wavering all three of these units. That's actually quite impressive. It's not a super elite SR, like the Tavs, but... Wow, Jesus. Maybe it is a super elite, so he's going to get them out of there. He's just going to win. I think I think the, the force that lost its general, I think that explains why they're wavering so much. 
And again, if we take a look at the map here, it's, um, yeah, they have that point, that point. But wait a second. Wow. Oh, wait, no, 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 I, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I usually, I'm just, I'm used to, like, my perspective, and I'm assuming, like, from my perspective, I'm Coalition, but during battles, you're blue, but, like, during replays, Coalition is always red, and, you know, etc. Look again, they hold one, three, four. Coalition holds four. They need to either take this point or this point, and it's just, this point is actually looking more vulnerable. At the moment. Okay, so we got, we got, oh, we got it. British infantry, what's in here? We got Marines. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, and the Invincibles. Oh, there is no way they're going to take that. We got 95th Rifles. There's just no way with the Marines, uh, the Guard. And, and the Invincibles. The Combat Gen of the Invincibles. Very slim chance of that taking, them taking that. I think, honestly, their only hope at this point is to just somehow, like, sniff Lan, Lan out of there. Somehow, we got more Marines of the Guard here, and Jerome. If they can just somehow get lucky and maybe, like, kill one of these gens, it might be able to demoralize this army, which might actually allow them to take this building. That's really the only thing I'm thinking right now, though. I mean, putting pressure on these guys, but this point doesn't really matter anymore. I mean, they clearly lost at this point. They clearly lost. I mean, in my, my opinion, I would just start diverting forces and just hope to God we could just somehow take either one of these points. It's, it just seems like the... It just seems like the coalition was outmaneuvered. Which is one thing I like about attacking and not defending. And defending, all you can really do is parallel your enemy. We got more Saxon Cav. But it just doesn't seem like enough. Especially with only 12 minutes left. I mean, they're diverting more. But it is 12 minutes enough to shoot... We shoot Marines of the Guard and the Invincibles out of this building. Maybe. Just maybe. They might be able to snuff them out. And perhaps with these th these red coats, they're actually retreating for some reason. I don't know why. Might be enough to snuff them out here. So again, we got more action over here. Action over there. That, that front's more or less lost. Get another view of the mini map here. Jesus. I'm just not looking too good. No, I should probably just minimize it, not get too close. But again, it's. Can they do it? I love Mar I, I love Marines Lagard. I think they're always bringing their Spaniel. Awesome looking uniforms, too. Dark navy blue and gold. That's just so awesome looking. So awesome looking. Did, Ma did Napoleon say like Marines are like the greatest soldiers? My yeah. Invincible is good shooting too. But still. Well, I mean, well, you know what? They have um Jackson Grimms as a combat gen too. This actually might be possible. They could totally take this. This is stars so might be a pain. They have Grins. If they could just shoot them out for the next 10 minutes, you know, and it's just salt with like two minutes left, I mean, man, that's totally possible. I mean, th th they're just so far away, and they have to move so to such an extent, and they're just going to be defending like a threading of river crossing. Uh, there's just no way. Th and there's no way they could take that. And they just don't have enough time. I'm sure eventually they could do it. Maybe even not. I mean, honestly, they might as well just regroup with the impossible to assault. If anything, it should be trying to, like, re attack and, like, retake points. Because I, I think the, the um, French have kind of exhausted themselves. And mo more, more or less, a lot of the coalition forces are fresh. And they're trying to take this point, which would allow them to win this battle. You know, the Saxon Gen here, right here. Actually, we might move them back a little. We might get um, shot by a, a French ball. Got more men moving over. They need to send some red coats up or something to kind of intercept those guys. But it seems like they're retreating. I would be sending these guys over here to help out this fight. If I were him. You just have these guys in the square. Yeah, this is an awesome situation. I think this is like a German unit. I mean, it's like former Alvin. It sounds like 27 accuracy. But it's considered a line of tree, not a light. So that's just like shock resistance and stuff. Which is cool. I hear charging. Interesting. Oh, here they here it is. You got the uh, Royal Irish, heavy, heavy, heavy British cavalry. 
Guards of the French Cavalry here. Very interesting. I feel everyone was fairly employed. Never really had a chance to do anything the whole game. Just a lot of marching. Except his guns was probably what did the most damage. I just sent them up and then blast those brits apart. I don't think it really matters. That's the thing. Like I, I feel like everything over here is has kind of already done its part, and now the forces over here really just need to coordinate. Or if anything, to like sending them down here, or at least pin down as many forces as them, so they can't really be building. So they'll be reinforcing from this side of the field, and they'll reinforce their comrades, and at least at least allow them to hold out longer. At least. These guys can't form a square. I'll have to be vulnerable to cavalry charges. These guys. I'm gonna form another square. Oh no, that's actually might, that actually might break these crosshairs. Yeah, that's gonna break them. That's definitely gonna break them. Form the square. Oh my god, really? God, there's no reason I just hate Saxon here. I mean, that's Grenz. It's a combat gen Grenz, and it's gonna break. Is it charging these guys? I think it's charging the square, but it's just, it's, it's just gonna break. With the amount of pressure, but it's actually coming under. Oh no, it's actually assaulting the building. Okay, got staff. Staff here. Sack and close the place. Sander Bear right there, firing a shot with a point blank for him. Now, is that gonna break him? No. Is that gonna break him? If I can stab down, jeez. It's been wavering for quite some time. It's kind of regaining morale, but going back down. Bad guy coming into the building here. Oh. Come on, stab him. Oh, knocks him to the ground. Oh, back guy to the ground. Finish him off. Finish him off. Oh my god, no. More sacks are going, but they're going to break. Break. A, little too much, a, little, a little too much pressure. And why are these guys wavering so much? Oh, they're getting charged by shots versus Cheval. And these guys are just rifles. They can't form square. I wonder if it's coming out of what looks like some a counter charge. No, not even a counter charge. There's literally nothing here solving. Yeah, it just doesn't look like, um... Yeah, it looks, it looks like that's kind of it for this, this assault. So, like... Yeah, I, I really don't feel like the coach has much of a chance at winning this now. I mean, yeah, they can send men over here. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like now that for all their forces are all over here, they might not expect a counterattack to happen here. So either they make it, maybe that was just a distraction, they can just kind of counterattack in the center and take this point, which allowed them to win, or you just some miracle happens over here. But you know what? They're starting to waver here. I just doubt something over here is actually going to happen. They're just going to get outshot. And so close, so close to red line. A anything breaks, it's just going to... It's not going to work for the Russians over here. I am yawning for no reason. All right. But God, yeah, it doesn't look anything... Anything much is going to happen here. I think the rest of these guys are going to get finished off, and that's going to be it. Some action over here happening as well. Russians not again not sitting here, not really helping out their comrades or anything. Brits have been stuck in this force like almost the entire game, Just trying to survive. Almost comedic, really. Getting the last goes. I love this unit. Artillery fire. It just does, it just seems like it's almost over for the coalition at this point. Oh my god. Sacks and cab making charge of those four pounds here. Should be able to take them out. Sack and crossiers. Got Marshal Lawn here himself. I think we're probably gonna get out of there. All it's gonna take. These guys can't form square. That could be. I don't think it's I don't think they're gonna break here. Oh, but, oh no, well, we got these guys that can fill in the gap. Again, they, do you know what? Three minutes. 
Two minutes, 40 seconds. I mean, dude, you got all this Russian cap? If they could just attack this. If, if, if they could kill Lan. If, if, if they could just kill Chun Lan. Uh, dude, I mean, they're going to collapse. This whole front's going to collapse if they can just kill Lan. I think that's really their only hope at this point. Uh, God, like the Marines. French green, there's your way. This is not enough. Very elite. Rearing them for a second there. Lance of seven stars. They're not going to be breaking. Again, I, I feel like that's their only hope. It's just throwing, throwing cap charges. And attempts to delay these guys. And then just break them. And then just, just pray that some sort of assault works. You want to kind of force these guys to square constantly. Charge, charge here. And then just kind of hope he mix with cap and infantry. Can help he break these guys. Help he break these guys. And then kill Lan. That's really the only chance of victory right now. There's three minutes. It looks like the Brits are going to be trying to just get as many forces in. They, they could help out in this assault. You know what? This actually might just be possible for them. Again, the, the Russians getting finished up up there in the top right. This is actually possible. This is actually still possible. Like, and, and, like a lot of guys are just kind of sitting up here, not really being dedicated to anything. Not even like swooping down and either helping out these guys, trying to pit, pull, pin down as many, or even just. I, again, I feel like there's a lot of you that could be dedicated to this fight. Just, 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 if this is enough, it's just barely enough. Again, again I feel like their only chance is to kill Lon, and he's like literally right here. This is like their only chance is to kill Lon. This is literally their only chance. Like, they might actually break these guys if they're out of position. Not a lot. They're actually gonna break the child leaders, they're gonna break them. These guys are getting charged, and they're gonna win that fight this turn square. These are gonna storm this building, hopefully, exhaust them, weaken their morale. And, and dude, if they can, dude, Lon's gonna die. Lon is going to die. And once this guy's break, he can just click through. There you go, click through. Kill Lon. Lon is just, <laughs> oh my god, just barely getting a escape route there. Is there anything, anything, literally anything? Yes, he's just so desperate to go, just get him! Oh my god. This looks like he's gonna die to a Russian saber instead of a cannonball. Dude, I, I think he's gonna die. If he dies, this unit's gonna collapse because his, his morale's gonna be nothing, despite these guys being imperators. And that might just barely be enough. It might just barely. Yep, there goes Lon. It might just barely be enough. There is 55 seconds left in this game. They have, they have nothing protecting it, and they've they've, they've just now like realized they're and they're like just trying to get the guys over there. But it's just, they've left this undefended. They sent everything over to Trek this point, and now it's left this point to open again. I mean, and look at the red coats coming in. I mean, we got 35 seconds. Maybe these guys might be able to help. Oh my god, we got some stars just sprinting over. I'll try to stop and shoot them. But no, look at Ma Moore. Moore's gonna die. He's gonna die to French stars. He hasn't noticed them. I mean, like, what is he? He could be killing John Moore right now, but he just kind of threw himself against the, the, the Black Bob. I thought, I thought he could have been killing John Moore there. I'm, I'm, oh, no, no way, no way, no way. There's really, it's out. It's negative three seconds. No way. No way. We're like negative seven seconds in right now. Wow. Well, I guess it's kind of one little, uh, one little fuck up at the end there kind of caused the, um, kind of caused them to, to lose there, didn't they? Jesus. Serpank, I know him. I played with him quite a bit. I, I played with these guys quite a bit. I never really played with Antonio. Oh, Jesus, I thought we are back. Just a little phone call there. That was a really nice battle. I enjoyed that one. Again, Jaeger plagues the Saxons. You know, he's been actually killing a substantial amount, Serpank. Not sure. Again, I'm not sure who's with who. But anyway, actually, Dini, I, 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 I think it's more important. It's nine point Russia. Most guys overall on uh, Coast and Cosmo with Serpink so far. Tony Hampton, that's a uh, is a veteran of this game, getting a thousand kills with the Senate Spania. Very, very nice. Two or three two kills from that. That's a very, very elite Crossier I unite, I believe. Shubligers, Shubligers, Crossiers. Couple units of note. Surprisingly, that's only getting two kills. 
I, I don't know why that thing only got two. I guess it got unluckily sniped or something. You know, that was really nice. You know, you guys see me there. Link Brothers is your Discord channel and all that garbage and subscribe and shit. I don't even care. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. And I'll 